guys, welcome to Sunday on the Day by Day Farm. You guys might have noticed that yesterday there was not an actual vlog. Yesterday we were away all day. Where were we, Silty? Making money. <laughs> Making money. How did you make money yesterday, Sophie? Sat there and looked pretty. Sat there and looked pretty. How much money did you make? 300, but there's more than 300 because then you, you mean count sat the there really and old ate. money. Right. So. You sat there and ate. Sat there and ate. So. Can I show them the really old Sure. Ones? Show them, Sophie. It's probably confused thinking, what the heck? I just want to sit there and eat food and make money. We spent yesterday with Sam's family for their holiday Christmas. And Sam's family always gives the girls money for Christmas. So we have a big meal. They get presents, which is always money. And they love money. This is the fake. Uh, not fake. <laughs> um, this is the really old money. So Sam's dad the girl's grandfather has been saving and collecting old canadian money we used so to have one dollar bills we used what to, happened we now we have coins and we used to have two dollar bills and now we have coins canadian money is so beautiful but i can't bend this yeah and so they are going to save this part of the money they also got three hundred dollars in I'm money using the force gabby's playing what are you playing no you're using the force oh so anyway that's what we did yesterday we had christmas with sam's family it was fun it was amazing the girls got to play with their cousins play games with their cousins before they got us presents but they don't know what we like anymore so they just give us money yeah it's a hard life yeah no it's not <laughs> so i'm sure a lot of you guys get money from grandparents or presents from other places and that's awesome christmas is fun for me I love giving at Christmas. Giving is my favorite thing. Yesterday I bought carrots for all of our horses as another special Christmas surprise for them. There's a couple old coins in here, but they also got bags of coins from Sam's dad as well. Lots of stuff in there. And this is the money. That's the money. Yeah, Sophie loves money, you guys. It's um, her favorite thing. Is it your favorite thing? Because I get to spend it. Yeah. So tomorrow we have our Christmas party ride with all of our friends at Riding Lessons with Brandon. Sam's out right now getting Brandon's Christmas present. I always give him a $100 gift card to the LCBO so he can buy alcohol, so he can drink, so he can live with us and survive <laughs> us. Daisy has two presents so far. So these are Daisy's presents from Sophie. That one's a bunny. She can't even hear me, so we're fine. Talking. This is a bunny. She's deaf. She can't hear. And this is a deaf. Dalmatian. This is a deaf Dalmatian. I mean, Daisy's going to ruin it, but that's what she's getting for Christmas. Like, isn't it the cutest? Don't do the eyes out. Yeah. See? One. Two. See? One. <laughs> oh, and she's two. doing it as well. Yeah. One. <laughs> two. <laughs> this one seems a lot more happy. <laughs> this one seems a lot more happy. I should just give her my stitch, because she's like... <laughs> She loves my stitch. I know. So you have to put your stitch somewhere. She can't get it. So anyway. She's terrified of my bed. So how does she still go on my bed to get stitch? <laughs> Why is she? Oh, she's terrified of Sophie's bed. Why? Because every time she moves around a lot, she gets shocked. And she, she gets... shocks me too. <laughs> and it hurts. <laughs> And then she runs downstairs. So, yeah, she's been getting electric shots, shocks on Sophie's bed, so she's scared of it. But she braves it to get Sophie's stuffed animal. So, this is Sophie's stitch doll that she loves. She was given it by a friend for Christmas, or just given it to her. And Daisy also loves it. And Sophie finds it in her crate all the time, even though she tries to keep her from getting it. Yeah, it's not yours. No, no, no. Anyway... Um, today the girls are going to wrap the presents. We're doing a gift exchange. We're doing a gift exchange at the barn, a gift exchange game. We're playing a fun game at the barn at our last lesson. This is Sophie, or this is Gabby's prize that she bought. This is Sophie's prize if you didn't see the video where we showed it. So that's what we're taking. Um, it comes with a horse, a rider, a squirrel, a little tiny pony figure apples a halter a thing for the wagon a wagon a sleeping tent thing a sleeping bag so let's just show them Stickers. it's this and it comes with a squirrel who doesn't want to like squirrel can't believe christmas is in less than a week and i'm super excited 
Uh, usually Sundays are really chill around our house, but today I'm going to do something fun. I'm thinking about maybe making one day a week about Penny and Laura because I'm going to have a different journey with Penny. I've already been having, I already have been having a different journey with Penny and I love it. And maybe watching my a different journey with Penny will help people with like-minded ideas. But anyway, today I'm going to do something so super exciting and fun with Penny, I hope, because <laughs> I never know. <laughs> And I'll explain when I get down to the barn. But good morning and welcome to Sunday. I hope you guys had an awesome yesterday. Hope you enjoyed our video that we posted yesterday instead of a vlog that was with our friends making memories and having fun with all of our horses in the barn at the lesson barn. But anyway, let's get on with the video and I'll show you guys what I have planned for today and with my girl. Penny! Penny! Hi, love. Hi, Pen. You want to go for a ride in the snow? Come on. I got carrots. Come on. Did you guys see that? I called her and she came. Florida. Let's see if she actually comes. <laughs> yeah. Good job, Penny Pickle. She was way back in the back and I just called her name and she said, I'm coming, Laura. Okay, so a few things in our first episode of Sundays with Laura. I don't know if that'll become a thing, but I hope it does because I have a lot of plans for me and Penny and I want to tell them to you. So first off, today I'm going to use my Pivo, which is really beneficial. I bought this last year and the reason I'm excited about it is because I can essentially hook this up send a link to my friend and have ear headphones on while I ride. I got these little AirPods, and she can talk to me and tell me what to do with Penny as I'm riding. So I brought that down, charged up, and I'm going to use it today, try and figure it all out. And then also today, I told you guys in a previous video that, oh my gosh, Penny, why are you such a mess? Hey, don't be mean. Hey, Penny, stop right now. <laughs> stop being, hey, Penny, ears, Penny, ears. <laughs> Look at those ears. She's a really bad mess on the other side. But anyway, I was telling you guys in another video that when the girls are with me, I love them and I'm so appreciative that they come down with me, but they're noisy and make things like, even though it's good for Penny to hear all that noise, it's also bad for Laura because I don't enjoy my ride with Penny as much as I would if we were alone. And so I want to ride sometimes alone with Penny. So I'm going to ride alone today with Penny. I'm going to use my thing and I'm going to ride with Penny. And the third thing that's special about today in this episode of riding with Penny or Penny and Laura or whatever you want to call it is, <laughs> they're such a mess, is that in my last ride, I was working on something that I didn't fully understand. Sylvie told me to get her to turn, open the rein, and use my foot and push her over. And so I was trying to do that, and I didn't know what exactly I was doing, but then my friend said, hey, you got her to move her hind quarters. Did you do that on purpose? And I was like, ah, of course I did that on purpose. No, I did not even know I was doing it, but I was trying to get her to turn, but all of a sudden she just moved her bum all the way around and then stood still. But the thing that was magical about it is that when I asked her to do it, I felt she understood. I did not know what I was asking her to do, but I could tell she, whatever I asked her, she understood it. I was speaking her language. I was speaking something she's been trained to do. I could feel it from her, like not from her body when she swung her body around, but I could feel it in her. It's the weirdest thing. Like I feel her brain go through her body up into my brain, if that's what makes sense. Like, I, I can feel what she is thinking or what she feels. Like, I can feel when she's excited or when she's calm and relaxed. But anyway, I could tell that whatever I was asking her, she understood. And that's what she did. And I did not understand it. But today, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to ask her to yield both hindquarters and see how I do. That's my goal, to ride. She's like, oh, stop talking already. This is boring. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ride alone. 
ride with my Pivo, film with my Pivo, and ask her to move her hindquarters. That's it, you guys. All that in this episode of Riding with Penny. Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest. I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. Let me be real here. When I see you, my heart starts racing. But I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me. But this time, this time. spy with my little eye something orange orange and white you guys see it come on down he's so chubby I have to try and carry all this stuff down and take penny it's just gonna be annoying I have to take the camera which I'm holding in that hand the pivo and the stool for me to st and the stool for me to stand up so this is gonna be interesting. I think I can do it though, you guys. I think I can do it. First time using my new lead rope, you guys. My beautiful pink lead rope. Penny's so excited. She said, Laura, I love this pink lead rope. Snowy. Hold on. Don't be frisky. Don't be frisky, Penny Pickle. Over this, like last year, I figured out a few things about horseback riding that set me up for success, knock on wood. And one of them, is that <laughs> I can feel her and she's excited but not too excited. <laughs> One of the things is that I ride at specific times when I know Penny will be feeling good, like after she's had food and after she's kind of bored, when I know that she'll be more receptive and I feel it from her. I feel the days when she tells me, Laura, I'm ready, let's go. Like today, she shoved her head in the Halter so fast. Like two magnets, we are drawn to each other. You just know how to push all my buttons. Moved out of town and I erased your number. But still, I find myself calling in the middle of the night. And there is nothing I can do. I am madly drawn. smile 
Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know that today than she was in my last ride where she was just enjoying herself. I think she was really interested in the grass. <laughs> Next time my goal is to ride her around the property. Sam did end up coming down and videoing for me but it was fun without the kids but actually it's kind of the same. She doesn't really respond any different if the kids are there so she definitely didn't listen to me as much but I enjoyed that ride so much as well. Like I just I love riding this horse like She's just amazing to ride, you guys. So fun. Like, get yourself a gated horse. So one thing that I've noticed and I need to make note of for future reference, move up a bit, move up, is that if I spend a lot of time being kind to Penny, talking sweet and being nice to her, then I have the same kind of ride that I had today. The kind of ride where she's like, mm, maybe I'll be the boss. But if I be mad at her and mean to her, and by that I mean just have a tone about me like, Arr. just talk to her like that, <laughs> then she behaves always. And it's hard for me to be like that because that's not naturally who I am. Unless you're really mean to me and then that is who I am. But So I need to remember that for next time. I'm going to practice that for next time. And this ride, today, she stopped so good. Like in the past, I've had trouble stopping her. And I just did this. I, I pulled back a tiny bit and went, I just sat back and went, and she just stopped dead. Even going home, she did that. And also, um, I have practiced my position and my legs and stuff. Like in the past, I've been worried about holding my legs on her. And it's something I'm interested in learning about. So I was able to hold on to her well. The same way I ride the Pasofinos, I was able to do with her. And I just enjoyed myself, you guys. The yielding her hide and quarters. I don't think I did that right. <laughs> but I'm going to work on it. And also, you guys, 
Comment below things that you think I should try and practice on with Penny. I, I do need to like, I think now that Penny and I are bonded, having a trainer would make all the difference in the world for us. So I don't know, I'm thinking about trailing her into our lesson barn one day after Christmas, like maybe during the Christmas holidays. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think that would be like the best first outing for us. I think that'd be fun. Anyway, uh, comment below things that you should think I should work on, including moving her hindquarters. <laughs> I might be more successful in the arena with that. But anyway, this concludes this episode of Riding with Penny, or Penny and Laura, or whatever you want to call it. I hope you guys enjoy watching a little bit of our journey. It's different than what the girls, though it's a totally different way than the girls have learned. It's a totally different mindset. It's a totally different everything a totally different horse and the things that I want to do with Penny are completely different than what the girls want to do. I want to do like extreme trail with Penny. That's that's what I want to do. I feel like Penny would be good at that and it's the kind of thing that I want to I want to learn. I want to learn like some uh, that's what I want to do and I want to trail ride with Penny. Those are my goals. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode of Riding with Penny. Don't you know that you're beautiful?